What's up everyone? Welcome back to The Wine Rookie. I'm your Wine Rookie host, Paul, and today we are trying the 2019 vintage of Seven Deadly Red. This blend comes from Lodi Grapes, which primarily consists of Zinfandel, followed by Petit Syrah, Cabernet, Merlot, and some other red grapes that they don't want to disclose to us. This is brought to us by the same producers that bring us Seven Deadly Zins, which is America's number one selling Zinfandel. This blend kind of reminds me of The Prisoner, which is also a primarily Zinfandel blend, but at a fraction of the cost. Let's go ahead and dive in and see what we think. All right, guys, we've got our Seven Deadly Red 2019 Vintage poured out. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. The color here, a nice deep ruby. There's nothing going around on the edges, just ruby. Uh, let's look at the bouquet now. Guys, you can tell there's some fruit in this wine, but you get this overwhelming barbecue, charcoal, cedarwood smoke hitting your nose right as you uh, you take a look at that bouquet. Uh, unraveling those fruit flavors though, I'm getting some blackberry mulberry pie. Uh, the oak leans towards pie crust here and the, the fruits are pretty potent. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the taste. I love that you still get some smokiness to it, but it's not nearly overwhelming as the nose. I'm getting some raspberry here uh, instead of the dark fruits that we got on the bouquet. I'm still getting oak, and it's absolutely perfect with this kind of smokiness. And a hint of vanilla on the finish, as well as some spicy black pepper. I know I compared this to The Prisoner. The Prisoner's in its whole other ball game. But for a Zinfandel blend, at the price that this bottle was, absolutely fantastic, and I definitely recommend picking it up. I would pair this with barbecue. Not in St. Louis anymore, but I still crave St. Louis barbecue sauce. I think it's the best sauce in the country. Fight me on it. But uh, you'll love the sweet and sour that goes into that sauce with some spare ribs or a pork steak. I think it'll be absolutely phenomenal. You can do pulled pork as well. You can do barbecue jackfruit in a similar style. On a cheese board, go ahead and toss on a smoked gouda to go with this wine. Uh, pick it up. Let me know what you think yourself. Don't forget to like and subscribe on the way out. It's the best thing you can do for the channel. And we will see you next time. Cheers, everybody.